Hey everyone, welcome to Kip TV. I am Kip, and today I got a sixes match for you from UGC Sixes. It is Red Steel, and it is Soul Patrol versus Tweet Team Wicked Instinct. Harder to say than you think. Anyway, uh, for Blue we have Swole Patrol. Swole Tato is Soldier. Rockefeller Swole is Scout. Pocket Swole is Demo. YLR is Soldier. Clavis Swole is Medic, and Sassafras Swole is Scout. On Twi or Twa is we have pancakes as Scout Hextex Lambent is Soldier DT East is Soldier as well Red TG is Demo the R Dash Five Thousand is Scout and Flare is Medic so let's get this party started we are on a CP process um, version B10 I don't know if that means anything to you it only meant something to my computer because I did not have this map downloaded before I started casting it I have uh, cast a little bit of process before so it should be interesting it is um, very typical with 5 CP I think anyway right now we're watching a red TG as he gets out and puts down a ton of stickies and hoping to put out a lot of damage um, so far not doing a whole ton of damage as most of Swole Patrol is very much overhealed we're gonna see a battle between the roamers and actually Pakaswol um, getting that kill of DTE. Red trying to push around, but here we have both scouts flanking from behind. So the medic is aware of that, and oh man, he's so screwed right now. And yes, indeed, he does go down right there. Flares down, and most of Swole Patrol is still alive. They will be able to cap mid fairly easily, and didn't want to zoom in too much on that dead body. It was, it was a good try. So Clavuswol has his 100% Uber as they are going to push into second. Um, they need some. He's like, wait, wait, guys, we need someone to cap mid. Stay here and cap mid with me. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> they get that done. The first order of business is always, you know, that part. And he's all alone again. Um, just running through this midsection, uh, hallways. Oh, as his team already caps second, that's where everyone was. They were already on second, and uh, he was left. So he's going to Uber his demo in right here. Um, on to last, we'll see if there's any off-classing for Red. It doesn't look like it. Actually, Flare goes down immediately. Pocket taking him down. We'll see if... Oh, Clavis going down as well. So no medics in this final battle. Someone takes a pill to the face, and there we go. Pocket... Or, I'm going to say Pocket Swole. Uh, Swole Patrol, there we go. Um, takes the first round pretty decisively there. Pretty fast. So we will see how Twee, Twa... The team Wicked Instinct decides uh, how they come back from that. Pocket taking a lot of damage as he rolls out to mid, but there is this nice health pack right there. And there's also one um, above the point if um, you can get there. A little bit one, though. Um, so Blue will see their positioning right here. Both soldiers coming in from the right along with some backup of the scouts. Roaming soldier is trying to take out this other roaming soldier for... Uh, but Swoltato does go down. Both soldiers down for... Swole, but um, everybody but a soldier and medic down for Twee. We're gonna see uh, it's only the demo and heavy or demo and medic left on mid for Swole Patrol, and uh, for some reason Red is kind of backing up. They kind of want to get in this, but the de uh, medic is really, really in danger zone right now. Uh, especially now that his soldier has gone down, he is getting out of there. Yeah, Flare is retreating. Scout comes in, tries to delay the cap, which already happened. Not exactly sure about this. Kind of a suicide move. Um, where did he even go? He is still at the point of kind of harassing them right now, and he actually is going to go back to second. So, not uh, a bad idea right there. <coughs> so we'll see um, how Swole decides to take it. They don't have the exact momentum they had as they did last time. I'm going to run into both scouts overhealed in this little hallway computer area. And actually taking quite a bit of damage is Swole Tato, which I assume is a swollen potato, which kind of sounds gross. But so for this option, you do can you can come underneath the point, or you can come through the side right here. Clavis has 100% Uber, not using it yet. Even though Red has taken a lot of damage, they've lost three players right there. Red has finally popped their Uber. Flare is um, where is Flare? Okay, he's oh man, he's all alone, caught up in a sea of blue. He needs to get out of there right now. Scout's gonna follow up and take care of Flare, so that's gonna be huge again. Now they're now. Swill Patrol's gonna have a pretty uh, dominant position as they push it to last. So there we go, another fast round by Swill Patrol. So we'll see what uh, Twi Twi Twa <laughs> decides to do in uh, retaliation. Right now, um, they're losing that mid fight and um, not having enough presence to be able to defend second. So they have to figure out a way to. Uh, Learn when to retreat from that mid-fight uh, enough to still have people alive. 
I also have to work on those flanks, those flanking scouts for Swole have been really good at uh, pressuring the medic and pressuring those those side flanks, so um, definitely have to worry about that. Right now, looks like uh, Twee is looking a little more passive. They are jumping in a little bit. Um, here comes Roaming Soldier in on the point, going for the medic. Uh, Clavis is getting back though, will be able to survive. But in general, um, yeah, we haven't seen uh, Team Wicked Instinct commit like they have earlier. Um, in the earlier rounds, looks like they're playing a little bit safer right now and uh, waiting until they can push in. So they are pushing into the point right now. Clavis, I mean, Flair has that cr Oh, man! Oh, he has that uber popped it just in time to take a rocket, but to his invincible body. So a good hold right there. And Clavis, meanwhile, going down. So drop that uber, I believe, right there. So this could be a very big mid-fight for Team Wicked Instinct if they can finish up these pesky scouts. Uh, Sassafras and Rockefeller Soul is do are doing some great work, just being annoying. Rockefeller goes down right there, and um, Sassafras, I believe, is uh, super hurt, so he's not going to want to commit to uh, saving this point right now. So, looks like this um, may be Twee's Team of Wicked Instincts, a first, uh, first cap. So, there we go. Time has been added. Indeed it is. We'll see what kind of um, defensive setup we have going for second point for Swole Patrol. We haven't even looked closely at the second point because his caps have been going so fast. But it is this um, almost a spire, not really. It is this elevated platform that you have to cap and you have this nice little protection against bombing soldiers like that. Uh, we'll see if he can't get taken down. And yes, T uh, DTE is out. Uh, Pancakes gets taken down as well. Not exactly significant. Here comes the Uber actually already wearing off right there. Uh, miss that pop. But um, again, Twee, Team Wicked Instinct will be able to cap it. So we'll just real quick look at second before we move on to last because that is where we're going right now. Last, we haven't looked at at all because the caps have been going so fast. But is this kind of central platform right there. Bomb, uh, Roaming Soldier comes in. Hextex Lambent um, getting taken down right there. We, uh, Team Wicked Instinct taking a lot of damage, especially since uh, that Uber stayed for a long time on the point. And uh, YLR, oh, YLR does go down. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, Swole Patrol did have most of their people alive. Are they going to be able to push back, though? Is this going to be enough? And it looks like they are being very aggressive right here. They are going to be able to... They're actually just uh, focusing right now on securing the space rather than uh, capping the point. Which is uh, not a bad idea, of course. But uh, eventually you do have to cap the point, because it is a capture point thing. Yeah. That happens. Anyway, Flare right now has a nice... Well, it's uh, about 30% uber advantage, and actually, Clavis wasn't healing somebody for a second right there. And actually pop immediately uh, in this hallway, in the upper hallway, and then uh, come into the point uber right now. Putting down a lot of good stickies and... Bam is their demo red tag, or red TG. That's going to be enough. There was a back cap attempt going on, but um, right now Team Wicked Instinct doesn't even care that much because they are pushing so hard and committing so hard right now to last, where there is not a ton of defense. There is this uber on the point, but not a lot of positioning. Oh, here comes a heavy. That's when you need to fall back and rethink your life uh, decisions. We you see the heavy spun up. So red TG does go down right there. Um, here comes a soldier bombing in, trying to get something going on. Oh, Rockefeller, Sassafras going down, as well as uh, YLR. So, so Team Swole, or Swole Patrol taking a lot of damage right there, and we'll see if Team Wicked Instinct can come back and um, stop, or can come back and uh, capitalize on those those losses. Right now, it's only a heavy or a soldier and a medic on the point. Is this going to happen? Will it be enough? It will not, and Team Wicked Instinct comes back and takes their first round, so it is now 2-1. to one. Swole Patrol still in the lead, though. Let's watch the Twee Red TG. Over there. I'm going to call him Red Tag, because that makes sense in my head. Okay, so remember, this is a UGC Steel. These guys are just probably starting out <coughs> Excuse me, in competitive sixes. Don't know if they've been having coaching or whatever, but so far, look, looking pretty good. You can, um, I think, yeah, looking pretty good. Swole Patrol has been looking good as well. So I'm um, trying to figure out what's going on in this mid-fight right now. Swole Tato going down, and, uh, going down first as the rest of Swole Patrol is trying to follow up and just be very, very aggressive right there. YLR was just getting up in their faces um, and actually went down, did a lot of damage, and that's going to force... Uh, that's going to force Team Wicked Instinct to fall back right now. Flare has that 100% uber. Um, we'll see... 
if he decides to push it. We haven't really- Oh! Red Tag getting a huge sticky takes down Rockefeller and Pocket uh, right there. So that's, uh, even though the point mid is capped for Swole Patrol, uh, Teamwork and Instinct is pushing back and they're going to be aggressive about this. They have the 100% Uber too and they said, well, we can do it. So, or you can do it, so can we. There we go. So, Teamwork and Instinct takes mid right now. And we'll see how they decide to go about this second push. Um, as we've seen, this mostly the um, standard operation for the heavier classes to come through this hallway choke area and then the lighter classes to come through the upper area or bottom area. Blue popped their uber very fast on the second right there, and now Red has forced to pop theirs. They gotta get this medic. Uh, not even an option right here. Somehow they can connect, doing some great dodging as Clavis, um, but finally he does go down. So uh, do the Hextech, the soldier for Team Wicked Instinct, and uh, both medics are down, so... A lot, of, a lot of stuff happened right there with the, those uh, Ubers. Unfortunately, um, I don't know uh, quite this map well enough or six as well enough to actually still call all this stuff. But that's what I'm working on, so hopefully hopefully you don't hate me too much. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna watch right now. Let's let's look at this map again. Okay, so as I said, the, the heavier classes have been inclined to go through this little choke area right here. But you can't forget that there is this building this house, if you will, where there's health pack and ammo packs, and that will also give you access to the second point. So far we haven't really seen the teams utilize that. We'll see right now though, Swoop Patrol um, Scout going in there, just get some health real quick. And where where the rest does Swoop Patrol go? Where did they? Okay, so now they're mixing it up a little bit, and they are going this hallway route, upper hallway to uh, Oh, to go for the point. Clavis getting pressured by a scout right there, taking a lot of damage, and he will go down. Oh man, but Pockets will doing some good work, taking down pancakes, and then Swoltato also taking down the R dash 5000. So they got those those kills, but unfortunately lost their medic, which is going to be huge uh, as they push into last. We'll see if they even decide to wait. They they look like they really want to be aggressive right here, and indeed they are. Pockets will is just camping spawn right now with some stickies. Um, the rest of Red is on the point, however. He's got to focus on that. Oh, we got a Pyro who's doing some nice reflect action. Oh, man. High Tech Lambert getting uh, a, a great a rocket in there to scatter people off the point. Uh, Pockets Will is still alive. Absolutely ridiculous after he um, got in there as, as much as any of his other teammates. But uh, Team Wicked Instinct will be able to defend for the time being, at least. They uh, want to make sure, though, not to just sit complacent on last and um, try to get some more damage out there on their second, which I'm not completely sure about right now. They need to focus on holding last, maybe turtling a little bit, working up that uber, making sure they're in a position to defend <clears throat> when they get uh, pushed again. I would not be opposed to seeing an uh, engineer here. Oh man, who's on the point and why is nobody doing anything? Oh, Rockefeller almost capping that! That was ridiculous! They had no idea, he just snuck in behind their backs. Really, really crazy right there. Um, here comes Pocketswell, not not sure what he's doing right here, but it doesn't really matter because the rest of his team is right there. Oh man, was that a... that was a... Um, a Blutsager kill right there, but does it matter? Uh, Swole Patrol takes another round, is now 3-1. That, that, that was kind of crazy, that is not what you see in ESCA. <laughs> but that's why I love UGC6s, because they don't operate by the same, you know conventional sixes techniques, they just do sometimes what feels right, and I don't know, that's how I play the game. Or maybe it's a really complex strategy that um, is employed in sixes and I just don't understand. Either way, I like it. I also like seeing people flying all around. Oh man, do not like to see this medic going down on that mid-fight. Flare just taking a rocket from Svoltato, so Swole Patrol looking very good right now on this mid-fight, just completely dominating. Oh man, only two people left alive for... Team Wicked Instinct, and they are pushed back to second, going to try to put down any type of defense they can, but it may not be enough because Clavis has this 100% uber. We're going to watch as Pocket gets in there. Does he know? Oh, wow, there's Sticky's detonated right as he jumped through, or right before he jumped through, so good job right there, but then Red Tag went down. I think actually that's why they uh, detonated. And I was going to, yeah, anyway. 
So Clavis will has this 100% Uber. Oh man, DTE coming in, trying to stop the point. Very close. Close to taking down Pocket right there, but did not happen. Oh, gotta get on last. Rockefeller, gun going from for this crazy uh, little back cap, uh, sneaky cap, spy cap, spy scout cap. I don't know what you call it, but it's not working. Uh, and however, the rest of his team comes in and supports him, pulls it out, and there we go. Fourth. Uh, fourth round win, and so we're going to halftime, but we'll be back with the second half very soon. And we're back already with the second half. Remember, they are playing to five round wins, so that means Swole Patrol just has to win one more, and Team Wicked Instinct has got to pull something together. They've got to win this mid-fight. Definitely, definitely have got to do that. As we've been seeing mid-fight, I mean, it's always the case in 5CP, you win the mid-fight, you control the aggression, and you control the map. Although not always the case, but it's always something you want to do. Anyway, both teams just kind of uh, feeling each other out right now. Here we finally have some jumping soldier action. Um, both soldiers from Team Wicked Instinct taking a lot of damage, having to fall back to their medic. Will that allow Blue to push in? And actually not going to really, and we have both our scouts going at it. Uh, our dash 5000 does go down though, taking the worst of that. Uh, Flare has 100% and actually pops it because he was down to 21 health, so that is going to allow his team to push forward, but hey, guess who has another uber? Um, that is Swoltato. Oh, Swoltato is now on, on Medic, so interesting little roster change up right there. Uh, we have a heavy... Oh, man. The Medic uh, is being chased down right there, and Pancakes takes down Swoltato. Uh, so no med right now for Swole Patrol, but they do have more presence on mid, but still no one has capped this, and Wildhar is going crazy trying to figure out where that scout went, um, but they won't be able to cap it for uh, the time being. Uh, need to get their medic up and get that healing going, because Flare right now is going to have a nice advantage, except Flare's not healing either, so what's up? What's up there? Okay, he is back here. So we're on the second point on this little elevated platform with bridges, and there's a mountain so that that's what's going on. Um, some demo spam coming over the little barrier right here, so gotta watch out for that. We'll see though um, how Blue decides to take it. We'll see if they decide to do the conventional thing, which everyone has been doing, which is take the heavy classes through here, which I've mentioned before. Indeed, that looks like they're, it's what they're gonna be doing. Uh, here comes demo, just spamming it out, trying to feel out what is going on in the point. We have uh, Demo jumping in, trying to get spam on the point and doing it. Uh, Clavis getting a nice kill right there on DTE. That's going to enable his team to push in, not having that soldier up in their faces. Both soldiers actually down. Uh, so some stickies going off on the point, and that will be finally the chance for um, Swole Patrol to take it. And actually, Flare going down right there. Clavis getting a nice rocket. Remember, Clavis is no longer a medic. They switched up to Sw Swole Tato is now on medic. So uh, not sure why that changed, but um, it's so far it's still working for them. We'll see if they can finish this off. Uber is popped in this hallway. They were forced to do that. We'll see if they can make anything of this. They need to get on the point, of course, obviously. But having a lot of trouble with this pyro. Pancake's doing a nice job, but he does go down right there. We do have a heavy on the point, but he's focused down. And oh man, is this soldier going to survive this fall? He does, does, uh, does indeed. And there we go. That's going to be it. Oh, uh, those needles coming in at the last minute, too. We gotta love that. So, uh, GG, that goes... The win goes to Swole Patrol. It was a very exciting, very fast CP match, which is um, what I like to see. Not a lot of um, stalemates or anything like that, but these teams um, up and coming, very aggressive. That, so I like to see that. I think it's good. But uh, again, we've got to watch out for the swings, got to watch out for the medic protection. Uh, would have liked to see a little bit more off-classing, but that's just me. And maybe a little bit of crits. I don't know, maybe uh, Team Wicked Instinct could have gone crits at mid, just to take uh, the best surprise. I don't know. I don't know. I still thought it was a very, very fun game to watch. So thanks so much for Sassafras for sending it in, and uh, good luck to both of these teams for the rest of the season. They are playing Viaduct this week, so that should be fun. I want some of those demos. I love Viaduct. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see your game cast, definitely email me at falafel1066 at yahoo.com or follow me on Twitter. Uh, my handle is at kiptf2. Also, I'm streaming now, and I'm um, on Facebook, and lots of other unnecessary things, but I was bored, so I did it all. Anyway, so you can check out all those links on my, on my YouTube page. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching, and have a good day.